In this video, I want to talk about what is worth more, time or money. A lot of people, they, they seem to spend a lot of time trying to save a relatively small amount of money. I'm going to use eBay for an example. I see, I see this with a lot of new sellers. They try and sell something, it might, you know, something cheap probably, maybe it's cost them like one or two dollars, and they send it off and the person that's got it, they, they said they haven't got it. It doesn't happen often, by the way. It happens once, one in a thousand items. It, it really doesn't happen often. But when it does happen, what I see a lot of people do, especially beginners, they spend so much of their time trying to figure out if this person's trying to scam them and they're ping-ponging messages backwards and forwards. And I've, I've done it before, guys, and it's not worth it. You, you're better off just to cut your losses and move on. Don't waste your time. You know, the same can be true, a lot of different things in life, like fixing your own car. I used to fix my own car because I, I thought, yeah, you know, I've got to put a new clutch in, I'm going to wrench on this thing and try and do it myself, and I'm going to save myself a couple of hundred pounds or a couple of hundred dollars, and I'm going to do it myself. When in reality, like, I didn't have the right tools, I didn't really know what I was doing, and it ended up taking, like, a few days. And I would have been much better just to pay somebody that knows what they're doing to do it, and I'll do what I'm good at and focus more time on my business and growing my business and doing what I'm good at versus just trying to save a little bit of money, but in, in really, I'm just wasting a load of time. You know, we've got a set amount of heartbeats that everybody has. You know, here's where we're born, here's where we die. That's how long we've got. And you, you, can't, you can't buy more time. Once your time is gone, it's gone. You know, money, you can always get more. If you lose a bit of money, that's not a problem. You can always earn more money. There's no limit of how much money you can really earn. But there's a limit how much time you've got. And, and, you've, and you can't make more time. Once your time's up, your time's gone, it's gone. If your money's gone, you can always start again. It doesn't really matter. So I wouldn't worry too much about losing money. I'd be worrying more about wasting time. It comes the same to learning. I see so many people that they're trying to learn something. Like they're trying to learn how to not to grow a YouTube channel. And instead of reading a few books, instead of watching some videos from people that are successful from YouTube and getting advice from people that know how to do it, they'll just start a channel and they don't listen to any advice and they'll just try and figure it out themselves and it takes a long time. I mean, that's fine if you're just doing it for fun. But if you're trying to grow your channel, if you're trying to get more subscribers, you're trying to get more viewers, you know, and you're trying to make it a business and it's not really working out for you, you're not getting more views, you're not really getting any traction and you're trying to figure this out for yourself, it might be worth you reading a book or learning from somebody that's done it before. Speak to someone that's done it before and learn and, and just have a shortcut. The same, the same when you're learning a business. I mean, sure, you can figure all this stuff out yourself. I mean, it's all figure outable, but you only have a set amount of time in your life. And if you spend your whole time trying to figure out how to do this certain business, your time could run out. You know, if your goal is to have a big house and a Lamborghini, would you rather have that now or in the next couple of years? Or would you rather try and figure out how to do this business by yourself and you've got to fa keep failing and failing and failing and having too much trial and error and keep failing and then you'll still get there maybe, but then you'll get there when you're old, when you're like 80 years old. You know, you don't want to be getting out of your Lamborghini in a Zimmer frame. You want to be getting out of a Lamborghini in your sweats. That's what you want to be doing. So you want to try and get it now and you can shortcut all that time by learning from people that have done it before. Or, or even sometimes paying people to do certain jobs for you that you can't do. Like if it's fixing your car, if it's putting a new clutch in. It's not worth you spending a whole few days trying to figure out how to do it when you can just pay someone else to do it and you can just use your time in doing what you're good at. One more thing I'd like to add is people being stingy with money. You know, they'll spend all their time down the pub. They'll spend every three minutes watching TV, wasting time on, on stupid stuff, wasting their life away. They're, they're out drinking. You know, and I, and I hear it from people before, they, they're like, oh, I went out last night and I've wasted a hundred pounds on, on, on drinking. Oh, no. When really, you should should be thinking, oh, no, I've oh, now I've wasted the next day through hangover. I've wasted the whole night just getting drunk. And now my efficiency is down for the whole week. I can't work properly now because all this alcohol in the system and, and it's not making me work properly. You should be thinking, you've just wasted a whole week of work you've wasted not not a hundred pounds you know you can make that hundred pounds hundred dollars you can make that back doing something something else but you can't make that time back if you've wasted a week of your life away just for one night of going out and getting drunk and probably getting into trouble and having getting meaning, meaningless problems have a look at my last video i'll talk about these silly problems and a lot of these problems all come from the pub so you should be thinking about the time you've wasted 
not the hundred pounds, not the bit of money that you've wasted. You know, don't don't give your time away for stupid activities. It don't it doesn't achieve anything. A lot of people they go to the pub and they can't even remember what they did. They come back all beaten up, or they come they wake up in a cell. And well, where, where, what's the benefit of that? They don't think, oh, I've just wasted a whole week of my life away on on, on, on rubbish. They think I've wasted a hundred pounds. But you know, pretty much what you want to do, of course, don't don't go out and waste your money. You know, I'm not saying just go out and buy a load of junk. But you have gotta be a bit more stingy with your time. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. You know, if somebody's wasting your time, be more cautious of that than if somebody's wasting a little bit of money. You know, I see people, they're stingy. They don't, they don't want to give to charity. They don't want to tip anybody. You know, if they get their car fixed by somebody, they, they can't even tip like five or ten dollars. You know, they're so stingy and they're so tight that they can't just give a little, a little token just to make that other person feel a little, a little bit better. But then they'll, they'll, they'll happily just sit there and watch TV all day or, or, or waste their time away on Facebook or playing video games. Like they're happy wasting their, their hours away, which is so much more important than a silly digit of like five, ten dollars, hundred dollars, thousand dollars, you know, that you can just earn back again. So don't, don't, be, sting, don't be stingy when it comes to money, you know. Spend, spend a little bit of money to make your life and other people's life a better place. Spend a bit of money on like education, you know, if you're trying to set up a business and, you, and there's books that you can read from people that know how to do it, then, then do that. You know, spend a bit of money on that. You know, don't, don't waste your time trying to figure all this stuff out for yourself. And, and, and you know, it's going to take you, it can take you 10 years trying to learn something that you can just learn in a few hours by reading a book, possibly, depending where you get information from. You know, there's many different ways, places you can get information from. You can get information from a mentor. Mentors are quite hard to find, by the way, because they've got their own stuff going on. You know, they might not want to spend all their time teaching you. You know, they've got their own businesses going on. You know, maybe the mentor, you might be on the other end of the world. Maybe you can't physically get hold of him. Maybe he's already died, you know, like Steve Jobs or somebody like that. You know, Elon Musk, he's got his own stuff going on. You're not going to be able to get him as a mentor. But you can read books from these sort of people. You can watch YouTube videos. You know, I, I tend to like courses. You know, I'll make an eBay course. I've made different courses before. And if I try to learn a new business, I'll try and find somebody that is in a position that knows what they are doing. And then I'll buy a course from them, provided it's a good course. I've bought courses before from people. I've bought good courses. I've bought bad courses. And if you buy a good course, the thing that I like about courses is that they're, so if, it, if it's a good course, they're step by step. Because a big problem when you're trying to set up businesses, for example, you don't know where to start. You know, there's so many things you've got to do. There's all steps left, right and centre. You don't know where, where you have to start. If it's a step by step guide, you know you can start step one, do that, go on to step two, do that. And they're the sort of ways that I like to learn. The trouble is with, with YouTube videos, they're good. You get a ton of information on YouTube. All the information you ever need to know is on YouTube, but there's a lot of mix of information. It can be difficult to know where to listen to. And even if you're just listening to one person's channel in particular, it's kind of not in a step-by-step -step fashion. It's kind of a bit there, bit there. So absolutely, you don't need to buy a course. You don't need to buy a book. There's a ton of free information out there on YouTube. You just got to find what works for you. You know, for me, I, I quite like the step-by-step -step way. When I'm teaching other people, that seems to be able to get the best results, what I find. You know, people do get results from looking at my YouTube videos. I haven't written a book, so I can't comment on that. You know, I find reading books are good, but I find it easier to, for the information to sink in when you can visually see what's going on, what's, what's visually happening. So whatever means is going to save you the most amount of time, be it reading a book, be it watching YouTube videos, be it buying a course, if you can get your hands on a real mentor, that's going to be the most ideal. That's going to be the best way for you to learn. If you can actually have one-on-one -on -one with a mentor that's done whatever it is you want to do, and you can be with him, that's going to be the best way for you to learn. But as I said, guys, second best to me is a course, because you've still got the videos, you're still sort of sitting virtually in front of the person, you can see what's going on. And a lot of the times you've got like Facebook groups where you can jump on or you can email the author of the course and you can get a little bit of chatting and interaction. You know, that's, that's the second best. You know, after that, YouTube videos, books. You know, books are great. You know, nothing wrong with books. Books are brilliant, but I find books, you know, I do read a few books here and there. I don't, I don't spend loads of time reading books. I do read a little bit, maybe, maybe half an hour a day, something like that. You know, not... I'm not like some of these people like Ty Lopez that sort of try and read two or three books a day. You know, I'm, I'm nothing like that because while a lot of people do, if you look at Warren Buffett, he spends most of his day reading books. I, 
I seem to struggle getting that much information to sink in. Even if you're just reading one book a day, I mean, it's a lot of information that's got to try and sink in. And there's also a lot of fluff in these books. When an author makes a book, he'll, he'll get all the information, he'll put all the information in the book, and then he'll take that information to a publisher. Well, the problem is, with that information, you know, the information that you actually need, it's, it's not going to be such a big book. There's not going to be much in there. And the publisher's going to say, dude, you're going to have to put more content in this book. There's not enough in there. We can't. This is going to be a little booklet. It's not enough. So then he'll give it back to the author, and then the author's got to go, he's got to now go through it and add more fluff. He'll just, he's just got to add, just to make the book bigger, to make it look like a more worthy purchase. But the problem is with that, now all the information we need is kind of buried and hidden in there, and we've got to try and siphon it out. So that can make a book that you could maybe read in like maybe like an hour, it's now turned it into a book that's going to take you all day or a couple of days to read, because it's got so much stuff in there you don't need to know. With, with courses, for example, you tend to, if it's a good course, it tends to be just the steps that you need to know. There's not really any fluff in there that you don't need to know. But again, guys, you know, you've got to figure out, figure out whichever way is going to save you the time. You know, don't worry if, if the book costs you like $100 for a book that you want to read and that, that book is going to have the information in there that you need in order to make your success, into, into making your business successful. If that book, if that $100 book is going to save you a couple of years of your life trying to figure it all out for yourself, then it's money well worth spent. Because you're going to make that $1,000 back, $100 back, whatever it is, you're going to make that back thousands of times over by just getting that information sooner and by learning. You know, it's all good learning from mistakes. You know, that's how you learn to walk. You fall over, you get up, you fall over, you get up. And you do learn by your mistakes. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you try and learn everything by your own mistakes, there's not enough time in your life you're going to be old you're going to be old by the time you've learned what you need to know in order to be successful so you want to learn you want to learn the majority of the stuff from other people if you can a bit like crossing the road you know we know that if we don't look and we get hit by a car we can die and we know that because people have tested it before it's happened to a lot of people so we know that already but we can't test that ourselves we test that ourselves we're injured we might be dead a certain you know same in business you, you can try all this stuff yourself and you can fail and you can fail and you can fail. There's a lot of work setting up a business. And if you keep failing and falling over and failing and trying again, you're going to be old by the time you've figured it out. So you, you definitely want to get advice from people that know how to do it and they're going to shortcut you and get you there quicker because time is our most valuable asset. When time's gone, we're done. We can't do anything. And money can give us a good shortcut and teach us things a lot quicker than, than just wasting all this time on there and, and, and just wasting all our time that we can never get back.